How is it now, three days later, and you, Jan Jackson, still haven't issued an apology for that stupid ass comment you made? Now, let me be real clear, okay? I think Jan Jackson is a fantastic entertainer. Puts on a great show. But this was a dumb ass comment. An asinine. And you got the reporter sitting there telling you it's not true. And you say nothing. So here you are. You haven't corrected it. So what you're telling us is you're perfectly fine with the lie being out there. So you said nothing. Randy has said nothing. And that's just dumb. First of all, how many biracial people are in the Jackson family? How many of her brothers have married non-black people? And you literally are questioning, oh, I heard her dad was white. What the hell are you reading, Janet? And who you hear it from? Not only that, this woman was the Attorney General of California when you lived there. Did you walk past a TV set? That could mean life in prison. And cases like this can depend on the testimony of the child accuser. In general, uh, the child will be able to recall and recollect with some detail the incident. And that is persuasive to a jury, even if it is the only testimony that is available. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, so now Miss Rolanda Martin had to put her two cents in. Yeah, it's about time. I was waiting to count the days and see what he, what he, she, they, what he was going to say about Janet Jackson and Kamala. Again, listen, if you don't know, just say you don't know and keep it moving, I'm a Congo. But to also make this comment, get all this blow black, blowback, and then you ain't sat here, and, and, and so your, your manager issues an apology, then y'all walk the apology back, so y'all want the lie to still sit out there? That's dumb. And to all y'all other people, I see some of y'all fools talking about FBA and all that, and talking about, oh, Janice the icon, Roland Martin, you shilling. All y'all can kiss my entire ass. Mm. Nigga, you gay. Okay, pro blacks. I know you like to say and claim that Kamala is black, right? Okay, fine. Have you ever seen her at a black church? Anybody? At a Baptist church? An AME church? Somewhere? Anybody? Have anybody seen Kamala Harris praising and worshiping Jesus Christ? Jesus. I haven't even seen her campaign at a church. Every Democrat has at least campaigned at a church. Has she done that yet? I mean, what religion is she? Her mama is Hindu. Her husband is, um, Kanye, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. And she went to HBCU. So what church did she go to? Can Kamala say Merry Christmas? How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? Whoa, my bad, Kamala, my bad, my bad. Anyway, anybody, help me out here. What church does she attend to? Will she take her stepchildren? Where does she take her stepchildren to go praise and worship? Which church she go to, guys? Aww. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, don't at me. <laughs> hey, matter of fact, Kamala Harris just posted something on her Twitter page and she got this bragging rights. She says that the IRS union has endorsed her. Yeah. 
the tax collectors, they have come out and endorsed Kamala. <laughs> Donald Trump, I can't. It's no wonder that Kamala Harris was just officially endorsed by IRS agents. Do you believe it? That's when you'd say, uh, I'd rather not have that endorsement. Now, Trump is over here talking about no tax on tips. Trump is also saying no tax on Social Security. Trump is also saying no tax on overtime. So that's going to be less revenue for the tax collectors. So they're big mad. So, of course, they go and run out and endorse Kamala Harris. Yeah. <laughs> this is too funny. Well, guys, I was going to vote for Trump. And then I saw that the IRS union endorsed Kamala. <laughs> that really pushed me over the edge. And now I think... I think I'm going to side with the people that robbed me blind and vote for Kamala. These idiots. Why did they even post this? They should have thrown this so far under the rug. <laughs> yeah, vote for the people that the tax collectors are voting for, bro. No thanks. And she's bragging about it. She's over here bragging about an endorsement from the tax collectors. Meanwhile, Trump has endorsement of, what, almost all of the police unions? But I've been endorsed by virtually every police group in the entire nation. Every police group. Almost every sheriff's group, every police group, every, every one of them. We just had one. The fraternal order. We just had four, four hundred thousand policemen. That's the biggest of all the unions and the endorsement. Not only that she got endorsed by the IRS, she got endorsement from Zelensky. President Zelensky was here in Pennsylvania signing autographs on bombs that we purchased with Josh Shapiro and he is endorsing Kamala for president. Americans don't even like Ukraine like that. We don't even like Zelensky. We all think Zelensky is a crook. He's out here grifting, taking our money, and taking his wife on shopping sprees at Tiffany's. We don't like you like that, Zelensky. But he's out here campaigning for Kamala Come on, guys. Are y'all serious? Remember, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania is one of the uh, five or six battleground seats that both parties must win. It's very tight there. And so it's kind of helpful having Zelensky there talking about how helpful the Biden administration has been and how unhelpful a Trump presidency would be. Zelensky told New Yorker magazine that Trump doesn't understand the war in Ukraine and that his running mate, J.D. Vance, is a radical who would force Ukraine to give up land to uh, the Russians. Not only that, you got endorsement by Mr. Evil himself, Dick Cheney. Everybody 20 years ago despised Dick Cheney. Now all of a sudden that he is supporting Kamala. Now the Democrats love Dick Cheney. You see how phony these folks are? This has got to be the most ridiculous thing. You got Dick Cheney, you got Zelensky, and the IRS endorsing Kamala. Wow. Remember, guys, this is their motto. It's not your money. It's theirs. D-I-R-S. I let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> anyway, guys. I'm done. I can't do any more with her, man. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.